You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created brightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis of Assisi and St. Clair, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. 
In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word of my soul.
For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. O Jesus, since I cannot now receive thee under the sacramental veil, I beseech thee with a heart full of love and longing to come spiritually into my soul through the immaculate heart of thy most holy mother and abide with me forever, thee in me and I in thee, in time and in eternity, in Mary. Amen.
eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
Sanctissimum Sacramentum. Majestic Queen of Heaven and Mistress of the Angels, Thou didst receive from God the power and commission to crush the head of Satan. Wherefore we humbly beseech Thee, send forth the legions of Heaven, that under Thy command they may seek out all evil spirits, engage them everywhere in battle, curb their insolence, and hurl them back to the pit of hell. Who is like God? O good and tender mother, thou shalt ever be our hope and the object of love. O mother of God, send forth the holy angels to defend us and drive far from us the cruel foe. Holy angels and archangels, defend us and keep us. Amen. Your amazing message in particular came from a young kid, a young kid who is real. He came up to me and he said, I think your message is BS, a tough football kid. And I said, really, you think our message is BS? I said, I said, why is that? He says, because I don't have a dad. My dad left me and my dad's a loser. I said, no, your dad's amazing. He says, you can't prove that to me. I said, I'll prove it to you right now. He says, you don't know what my dad did to me. I go, I don't know what your dad did to me. But I want to let you know that he is amazing. I said, did it hurt you when your dad left? He said, yeah. I said, did you ever cry about it? Tough kid. He goes, what are you asking all these questions? I said, did you ever cry about it? He said, yeah, I cried about it. I said, if your dad wasn't amazing, it wouldn't have hurt so bad. He just doesn't understand that God the Father made him, and he is amazing. And you know, ever since then, I wanted to let the whole world know, every person I meet, whether you're mean, whether you're nice, whether you're kind, or whether you're a jerk, the bottom line is this. We are all amazing because God made us in His image and likeness. And we want to let everybody know how amazing they are. Whether you change or not, you're still amazing. Certainly, that carrying over to some.